Yeah, that doesn't feel good past that point. He knows what's up. Yeah, I did too. I asked for protection so before I came up here, and they didn't. Yeah, just don't, just stay where you're at. Okay. No, it's getting, it's, it's getting like really good. Get away from Keith now. Get out of Keith now. Don't leave the mirror, Keith. It's not Keith. Don't look in the mirror. I'm just looking out. I'm trying to look out for y'all. Hey, someone go get Michelle. Hair going. My my camera's my camera's glitching hard right now. Look look look. It's glitching like like it's lagging. And look now. Look. They, they are, they are, they are. Dude, look at it glitching. Look at my camera glitching. Leave alone. I've never seen it do that before. Look at it. Get away from me. Get away from him. Now. You're not gonna take me, and you're gonna give Keith back to us. <laughs> Fuck this thing, man. Fuck you. Get out of fucking Keith. Yeah, you're a little bitch, and you're gonna give Keith back to us, because you can't even do shit. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, dude? How are you feeling after that shit at Madison, dude? Uh, still a little uneasy. I've never seen anything like that before, so, uh, still just trying to process the whole thing, you know? Yeah, it was, uh, with all that crazy, I guess I would call it channeling and something affecting Keith and I, like, I, I started thinking about it, though, and I might have a new location for our second film. A new, new place, and does it have, like, stuff like we experienced there at Madison? Yeah, so it's this creepy farmhouse in Kentucky in the middle of nowhere. And, you know, it's got people being affected like they're growling at people. We got people's hearts being affected. A lot of dark stuff going on there. Hearts being affected? Like they're like making people have heart attacks or something like that? Apparently, yeah, that it's been affecting people like to where I heard like a minor heart attack uh, people's pacemakers being affected, things like that. Mm. And you haven't told the guys yet? No, I haven't told the guys yet, but I'm, I'm hoping they'll be, uh, I know they're going to be nervous about it, but I'm hoping they'll be, they'll be game for this. Yeah. I think that they're going to be like, oh crap. But you know, <laughs> uh, like we always say, this is what we got into it for. So let's go and, uh, let's go check it out, man. Yeah, man, I think we got to push ourselves and, uh, but I'm a little nervous for the guys because I know how, you know, I know how this place can be and I just hope everyone's ready because from what I've experienced there and what other people have, uh, there's possibly something truly evil there, man.
Guys, we are back again. I gotta ask, what do you guys think about this place after I told you guys on the Skype call? I'm, I'm a bit nervous because you were saying that there was some dark energy and it was a pretty intense location. And they had some stuff that isn't just ghostly things. You, you know? got people getting scratched. You got people being affected to where they start growling. See, and uh, that's what's got me really nervous, man. Because after last month at Madison Seminary, I was ready to quit. And now we're going to a place that has very similar activity to what we experienced at Madison Seminary. So, I don't know what's going to happen, man. Welcome to our bad decision making. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's going to be, you know, super interesting because it's such a different style location, but do we kind of have a plan? Do we know what, what we want to do, how we're going to attack it? Well, you know, we're going to do our normal experiments, different stuff that we're going to try, but also have some really special plan for the solos. Man. Uh, so Damn it. <laughs> I'll let you guys know about that a little later. And you said we were going to start with them. Yeah, we're going to go right out the gates tonight, solos, right off the back. I think I'm just dropping you guys off, right? <laughs> is that what the plan You're is? You're an Uber driver? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just dropping you off, and then good luck with that, man. Oh, uh, man, I can't wait to get there. I think we're about to pull up, right? Yeah, yeah it should, should be close. right up this road. Uh, there oh, there it, there it is, there it is man. Oh, man. In the middle of these fields. Look at it, how it sits like high up on the hill in the middle of nowhere. We have nobody to help us if something goes wrong. Man, this is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be intense, man. I, I can feel it. Wait till nighttime, dude, and there's complete blackness around here. It's like whatever's in there knows and knows we're here. Yeah, like I got like that pit in my stomach. I, I've been here before and like... I can... I don't know, guys. I could already feel I, it, I man. I feel a little uneasy about it for some reason. Man, oh well, I guess. Boys, ready? I guess. Now we <laughs> have a wrap. All right, guys, let's let's do this. Benton Farms was located in northern Kentucky. Was once founded in the early 1900s by John Benton. A small time farmer with high hopes for his newly acquired home and land. The farm produced tobacco and once had hundreds of animals. The small farmhouse has seen lots of tragedy in its time. Once operated by Dr. Ryle, the home was the final resting place of some of its patients. Also, the property is believed to be old Native American land once supporting the Shawnee tribe and possibly Cherokee tribe. So, all the tragic deaths and Native American energies will continue to fuel the paranormal activities surrounding this small farmhouse. Here it is, boys. Man, I'm so excited. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I already feel it. I feel antsy. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let's get some cameras and let's go just check walk it out. around. Yeah. yeah. All right. Awesome. Y'all ready? Ready, man. Nope. We'll see. <laughs> oh, so guys, we got the basement right here. Uh, do you guys want to start? Steve can go check out the basement first. You know how I love basements. We so know I'm not going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and Keith, we'll go over here. <laughs> yeah. All right, dude. All right. All right. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah, I'm gonna turn the night shot off here. Seven o'clock, not even, the sun is still <laughs> off here. As you can see, completely pitch black. I can't see the back of the, the room at all. You can't see anything. <sighs> all right, well, I know that they said that upstairs was pretty intense, so. You ready to check it out? Yeah, let's do it. Oh uh, Man, it feels like, it feels a little heavier up here compared to down there. It does. This, this is the floor I think Alex was saying that the guy he knew started growling. Oh, um, yeah, this room he was affected. And I think they said there was a spirit of a child in this room, but it's not actually a child. Hence so, the bike. Yeah, so that's something we need to be careful of later. You can literally feel like the, the heaviness in here. Yeah. It's Lots of energy like we thought, like the land. Yeah, it's almost hard to breathe. Yeah. Your senses are gonna be so heightened down here because you can't see anything. Exactly. I'm worried about the spiders, man. I'm with Keith on that. There's some big spiders down here, I'm sure. So I'm kind of liking the fact actually that it's pitch black because I can't see them. Might feel them though, drop on yeah. your head. Yeah, right. But let's uh, let's head back up. We'll meet up with them. All right. Check out the rest. Well, it's definitely lighter up here. For now. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine this place gets pitch black once we start, you know? Yeah, once it uh gets dark, it's going to be terrifying. <laughs> uh, get the... Uh, Might not this weekend. As you can see, this was set up like a haunted house, so they got a lot of fake walls to kind of force everybody through here. So we got to remember this later. Yeah. Tonight, if we feel the sensation of being touched on our head, that it's most likely a uh, prop. And the f you can like Ooh. feel the fear of people that come in here and they pay money to get scared. And hey, Alex, Steve. Yeah. Y'all want to check out the attic with us? Yeah. Let's do it. One thing, guys, that people say about the attic, um, there might be like an older man spirit that haunts up here. And sometimes he can kind of hit you like a ton of bricks. You kind of might lose your balance, lose your breath. I'm not gonna lie, dude. It feels like I just walked through like a wall of energy. Really? Yeah. It is, dude, it is thick up here. It's like I feel like tingles like on my leg, on my arm, as soon as I walked up here. Well, think about this too, not only is the house old, look at all the stuff you have up here. Oh you know, man. Who's, whose stuff is this? What happened to them? Why is this stuff here? Also, things to remember for later. There's a lot of props from it being a haunted house, <laughs> so try not to freak out. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> yeah, man, this is going to be intense, and there's four floors, there's four of us, and I have a feeling that our solos are going to get, they're going to get a bit wild. What do you guys hear what we're going to do for the solos? We're not just doing just normal solos. No. Oh boy. Of course he's got something to play. So there's got to be something with a house, man. The crew meets with two eyewitnesses that have encountered the ghosts of Benton Farms. We just say your name and uh, your association with Benton Farms. Hi, I'm... I'm Debbie Warren. I actually do the scheduling here for Mary Benton, and I have been associated with this farm for about six, seven years, and told Mary that I've seen activity of paranormal activity here. What do you think makes this place so active? My opinion is the past. Uh, there was a skirmish here. The Civil War was fought here. A lot of Native American history here. Um, two doctors owned the place. Um, I heard, and there was a fire next door. So you believe that this land has a lot of influence on what's going on in this home? Yes, I do. I'm Charles Gillum. I've been a, a, a close friend to the Bentons for nine years. And then uh, they allowed me to uh, do a haunted house in this house for four years. Well, I come here and, and work during the day until dark by myself or with a couple more guys. And one of the spirits they talked about here that was a 12 year old girl, she would take my tools and hide them on me. I was working in the kitchen and uh, doing some props and my hammer disappeared. I went around to look around, I found it laying in the other room, didn't think nothing of it. I just thought I was losing, you know, I just forgot it. Well, the second time I misplaced it and went to go look for it and it was hanging on a nail on the wall, almost to where I couldn't reach it. 
Hmm. And I know I didn't do that. Um, there's been some tragedies here. Uh, Mary's mom committed suicide on this property, sadly. Um, so there's been tragedies here, and the doctors did have patients that were actually in this house that we feel have passed away in this house. And it targets people. Why do you say it targets people? Well, if you're really afraid and scared, it will use that energy uh, off of the person and, you know, do things to them, like whisper in their ear, like get out. Um, we've had people hear that in their ear get whispered. Um, people who's uh, had sexual, uh, like, abuse in their past, there's one spirit in here that would know that and it will target that person and they'll get touched sexually here. So I know uh, earlier you mentioned, well, you mentioned Little Girl Now and you mentioned that you may, there's like rumors of how she may have passed. Uh, can you let us, you know, fill us in on that a little bit? Yeah, uh, this house has been added on so much. The makeup room is built over a cistern where that I don't know if she drowned in it or was murdered in it, but the 12 year old girl was found in the cistern. Wow, okay. Would, would you consider that malevolent? Possibly negative. Um, I don't think that, I, I'm, I wouldn't say anything demonic here, but myself, I have had my pacemaker and defib mess with here. That was when I was connected with Mary's mom that committed suicide in the house directly across from out here. Um, we, I, in my opinion, feel that she may have been controlled to do that. I have no proof of that, but that's my opinion. And when I was trying to cross her over, I was, my pacemaker was messed with, and I went to the doctor and it showed it on my results that my pacemaker was messed with that day. So. I wanna to touch back on one more thing you said earlier, you said, that you feel like it's possible that maybe the suicide has something to do with the location. I know that's that's a tough thing to just say, but if, I want to know why why do you think that? What, what is it? Well, Mary's mom was very very religious lady. I mean, she she was a god lady, and I I would think, you know, with the, uh, somebody's religious, they know what suicide teaches. You probably go to hell. I don't. I'm not sure on that on what her religion was, but so. With her being as religious as she was, it kind of worries me that the way she did the suicide, it was with a shotgun, sadly. And her locking herself in a room, I, and nobody knew of her having anything to cause that. You know what I'm saying? That nobody saw, which we don't, I mean, when people are suicidal and they commit suicide, you, a lot of people don't see it. Boys, 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 are y'all ready for the solo session? We're gonna jump right into it. Solo's right out the gate. Whoa, whoa. Right to the beginning, Stop. night one. Night one, solo's right out the gate, and we got a little something special. So, hear me out. Go with solos first, isn't special? Yeah, that seems good. <laughs> that seems pretty special. I feel like I just wanna jump right in, get the most terrifying thing out of the way first. I don't know, we do have some special plan for tomorrow night. We'll talk about that later. But, so solos first, but we're gonna do something a little different than we did last time. So last time we did solos in certain areas of Madison Seminary, but tonight we're gonna do whole house solos. You gotta start in the basement and work your way up, and at each floor there's going to be a set of tasks that you have to complete. You just draw one task, when you complete it, you can move up to the next floor. Oh man, I'm, I'm assuming these tasks are not fun tasks. <laughs> some of them are pretty, you know, normal investigation tactics, but I did throw some special ones in on each floor. Uh, someone's gonna draw one task that's gonna be a little worse than the rest. <laughs> the whole task sounds like the some. worst task. <laughs> I'm guessing that's why you had me bring 
The Ouija boards, yes. There's going to be three boards involved. So on any floor uh, that the Ouija boards are on, you might have to perform a session by yourself. Uh, Steve, how old are these boards? I have two from 1919 with me and one from 1911. So. Oh, right, that's pretty wow. pretty impressive. This, this house was built in 1901, so the boards are almost as right. old yeah, as right the house. Time. Yeah, and then a board that, that old, I'm imagining it's holding energy in. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. And you well, sure we have to start with this? <laughs> yeah, that's how we're going to do it right out the gate. We're going to swap up because last time we finished on that, I feel like let's reverse it. See what see what happens. Um, so let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go. Now right. or never, right? All right. So right now, I'm about to go do my solo session. I decided to go ahead and go first, just so I can get out of the way. Because if I don't, my anxiety will build, and I will freak myself out, <laughs> like Alex over here. Yeah. For some reason, I'm feeling super on edge tonight, which isn't like me. I think it's from some stuff. After the Madison Seminary incident, I've been feeling kind of weird at home and like, yeah. Uh, so I don't know, but good luck, dude. <laughs> All right, man. How you feeling? Dude, just give me a camera. <laughs> I'm not ready, but whatever. Dude, I hope you get all the bad stuff. I have to start in the basement first? Yeah, start in the basement and work your way up. All right, to go down. I just heard something up there. Okay, here we go. Oh man, this place is terrifying, dude. It's so dark in here. I literally, look, this is, I wanna show you what I'm looking at. <sighs> Freaked out, man. Okay, let's find this thing. Okay, and I'm just going to grab one. I don't know what they say, so let's see. I got EVP. Okay, so based off of Alex's rules, I have to perform an EVP session. I don't want to ask questions and get responses. I'm gonna freak myself out. I just heard something. In that direction over there. Okay, I'm starting to get the chills. Look at my arms. And I haven't even started to question yet, and I'm hearing it's, dude. I don't care that the light's on, I'm freaked out. I literally just heard some footsteps going across there. Coming down the stairs. <sighs> Hello? I'm hearing movement. It literally sounded like somebody was walking down the stairs. Is there somebody in here with me? Who is it? Let's see if it caught anything. I heard some like chattering, but I can't make out what it's saying, so. I'm looking to communicate with you. If you have anything to say, now's your chance. Come say it to me. I'm looking to communicate with you. If you have anything to say, now's your chance. Come say it to me. Okay, I didn't catch anything on that one. My time is almost up down here, and I've got to move on to the next floor. Okay. Here we go. Round two. I got the Ouija board. Oh, man. Let me tell you right now, I don't do Ouija board sessions, and I also heard you are not supposed to do them alone, so I'm, like, ultra freaked out right now. And I'm so on edge. I don't know what I'm supposed to say or do. Because like I said, I don't do these often. But, uh, 
I'm going to say what comes natural to me. That's up. I could have swore I just saw the move down there. I just saw something move right there where that white door is. Oh man, this sucks. I don't know why we do this stupid shit. I want to communicate with the spirits around here, in this house, on this land. Please come speak to me using this board. Use my energy. Move this planchette. I feel like somebody's just watching me. I feel like my heart's like about to be out of my chest. I'm hearing noises. I feel like my heart's like about to be out of my chest. Oh, I got the chills. What's the first letter in your name? What's the first letter in your name? Okay, I'm going to close this session out now. I'm closing the session. Any spirits that were going to try to use this board to speak to me, you can no longer do so. Thank you. I have to go up to the second floor now. I don't want to do it. I have to. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I think that's my favorite word tonight. But I think that's okay to want to say. It's pretty heavy up here. And now I gotta find the papers. Is there anybody up here with me? Okay, I think I found it. Okay, here it is. Oh my god, no. Oh, fuck. Look what I got. Sensory deprivation. Okay. So what Alex had in mind for this one is to sit here on this bench, on the stool, blindfold it. <laughs> Am I alone up here? I feel like because I'm blindfolded that there's just people like watching me right now. Can you come touch me? Can you come grab my hand? I don't know why the fuck I just said that. I'm so stupid. My heart is pounding out of my chest right now. I mean, it's dark up here, but like just not having my eyes at all. It's like so scary. Can you make a sound for me? Can you knock on a wall or on a door? Can you show me a sign of your presence? Anxiety, it's just like through the dude. Something just touched my hey. Come up here. He's waving us up. Yeah, he's waving us up. 
<sighs> Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Something just tapped my arm. My, my fucking arm right here. What happened? Is that all you felt? <laughs> you okay? Look at the goosebumps, dude. What happened? Something Look just tapped my arm. You fell off the dang thing. Look at his arms. Both of them. Dude. Like something went like this on my arm. No shit. Look at like, it. Look at both of his oh, arms are still like damn, that. Dude. My timer just went off. So goosebumped, dude. <sighs> Look at his arms, dude. They're both like that. Dude. We were just saying we were, how impressed we were, like how you were doing. And then you jumped off the fell thing. I lost my fucking flashlight and I didn't want to just run in the dark. Dude, look. Your camera won't focus. Did you drop the camera? No, I had it set up. Hmm? I had it set up on the. Yeah, it won't focus. Is it on? Um... It might. It might. I don't know what happened. I just grabbed it and took off running. How hard was it? Just like it, just something. It was enough to. It was a person that went. You look shook, dude. Yeah. You think you can do that? So I asked. I asked something. No, I'm not gonna do it anymore, Sola. So I asked something to touch me, and then like I was waiting, and like nothing, like because I, I don't know if y'all saw it come my hand yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. And I was like waiting for something to come grab me but it like waited or something i don't know man that fucking scared the shit out of me Whew. well now it is this man's turn all right man Here I go. <laughs> or we just canceled the solos because of what just happened thanks jp mm. you did it. good luck man all right let's see here let me turn my lamp on quick so i can see what's going on Tamino's Hell. Come on, Alex. Why you gotta come up with these things, man? Tomino's Hell is a poem that some believe, if recited, can conjure spiritual activity. They also say that whoever reads it may die after. His older sister vomited blood, his younger sister vomited fire, and the cute Tomino vomited glass beads. Tomino fell into hell alone. Hell is wrapped in darkness and even the flowers don't bloom. Is the person with the whip Tamino's older sister? I wonder whose blood is on it. Hit, hit, without hitting. Infinite hell's one road. Would you lead him to the dark hell? To the sheep of gold? To the bush... I just heard something. Right on the bottom of the stairs. To the sheep of gold, to the bush war warbler, fit as much as you can into the leather sack for the preparation of the journey and the familiar hell. Spring is coming even in the forest and the stream, even in the seven valley streams of dark hell. The bush warbler in the birdcage, the sheep in the wagon, tears in the eyes of the cute Tamino, cry bush warbler toward the raining forest. He shouts that he misses his little sister. The crying echo reverberates throughout hell. The fox peony blooms circling around hell's seven mountains and seven streams the lonely journey of cute tamino if they're in hell bring them to me the needle of the graves i won't pierce with the red needle in the milestones of little tamino Got the poem from the basement, read that, heard a couple weird things, sounded like feet shuffling over by the stairs. I think the basement's done. I think I'm gonna move on up to the first floor and uh, see what I draw up there. So. Steve's camera mysteriously malfunctions. The remainder
remainder of his solo is wiped from the memory card. You ready, dude? It's now or never. Now or never. We JP's got... been touched. Steve's heard knocks, saw shadows, saw a light. Now I gotta go in there before I lose my little bit of bravery that I got left. All right. I believe Good luck, man. Thank you, sir. All right, so we're outside, and Roman just heard somebody walking inside right before I got to go inside and do my solo. You got it, bro. You got this. <laughs> do it. Knock it you out. got this, dude. I really don't want to be down here right now, but it is what it is. This is the basement. As we all already know, I'm kind of afraid of basements. Let's do it. We in here. All right. Ovulus session. Awesome. All right. So we're going to do an ovulus session. I got the ovulus right here. Ovulus five. Just here to communicate with you. My name is Keith. says Dan and Jewelry. Is there anybody down here with me? Is your name Dan? Before beginning his solo, Keith put on a protection necklace that was blessed after his dark encounter at Madison Seminary. Alright, I'm gonna go upstairs. <clears throat> if you want to talk to me, we're going to try something else upstairs, okay? You can follow me up there if you want. All right. Here we go. EVP session. Awesome. Recording. I'm going to put the recorder down on the Ouija board. I'm going to remove my hands from the table so there's no contamination. If there's anybody in this room right now, I have a device on the table if you walk up to it right now and speak into the red light, I might be able to hear your voice. Is anybody in this room right now? I have a device on the table if you walk up to it right now and speak into the red light, I might be able to hear you. This is the part I'm not looking forward to at all. Let's fucking do it. <clears throat> Ouija board session to do in the same room that GP J I can't even fucking speak. Whew. Gotta do a Ouija board session in the same room that JP was touched in earlier. Is there anybody in this room right now that wants to communicate? I have a device. All you have to do is move it to a letter and I'll be able to read your name. If you're strong enough to touch, my friend, I think you're strong enough to move this board. Come on, let me see what you got. I'll give you some help. I'm going to spin it around for you. Give it a little bit of energy. Come in here and let me see you spell your name. It's your last chance to talk on this board. My friend Alex will be up here next. Maybe you can tell him something.
up. Three out of four, I'm good. Three out of four. Fuck it. What happened? I said three out of four. I'm good, man. I can't go up those fucking stairs. My last one. The last one. Yeah, that was fucking attic stairs. Just intimidating or what? It's yeah. It's <clears throat> going up to the second floor. You can see, you can see the whole staircase going up. So you can kind of poke yeah. your head, but that attic staircase is like you don't see anything. You don't see around the corner. You can't see around the corner. And knowing what you felt in there, that just freaked me out. On Wonder the way twins. up there, there was, a, there was a spider dude like this big on the way up, <laughs> coming up out of the uh, basement. Well, we all did our solos, so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, are you ready? It's time for your solo, and this was your idea and your game, so. This was the game. I am the game master. Ooh, spoiler alert. <laughs> um, <laughs> Doc 3. I don't know. I feel, I feel on edge still. Like, I felt good once I was watching you guys do it, but right now I feel on edge. You got this. All right, right. you were the solo master, dude. Kill you got it, got it bro. the recorder. Sorry for the sharp ring. It's all good. I had a super sharp ring. You that got is. it, dude. Kill it. Kill it. You can do it! <laughs> <laughs> As you guys know, I destroyed my solo in Madison. But for some reason here, I'm feeling very on edge. I don't know why. All right, so we got spirit box. The spirit box. Do you remember me? I've got chills all over right now. Something I haven't really felt. So there's been tragedies here, and the doctors did have patients that were actually in this house that we feel have passed away in this house. What is your name? Something just like, I don't know what to say. I heard an insult on there. Wings. Something just touched my neck, it felt like. Maybe a bug. Hold up. Alex, who's, who just said my name? Who was that? <laughs> So we got a spirit box again. Uh, I brought this, a second box. Can you hear me up here? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, I'm gonna circle this around. Can you move this plane jet for me? Thought I heard something over here. Let's continue. I want to get some action upstairs because that place freaks me out. It uh, doesn't feel too nice up here. Okay, so this is where JP got touched, up here. EVP. Hello? Who is the little boy that is up here? I know you're not really a boy. 
but something else. Can you tell me what you are? We want to know what you are. Here we go. I swear I just freaking saw something looking at me over this. <clears throat> Hello? I'm here. It doesn't feel good up here. You remember me, right? Hello. Is there something evil in this house? And he never did a mistake. That's you. He didn't. Straight talk. Oh, fuck. I just saw. Oh, my God. Okay. Three. Legit. Oh god, I just got a cold breeze. I've got chills all over. I just legit, I don't know if you guys could see it. I hope you could. Oh my god. I just saw myself grin at myself on the fucking mirror. And I did not even fuck, I wasn't grinning. But I saw myself in the fucking mirror grin. Fuck that shit. That was weird. Oh. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. Holy shit. Dude, I saw my face as a fucking old man, like, weird fucking face, dude. I don't know, guys. That was fucking weird. I'm gonna go. Can you make a sound? All right. So, it got kind of weird at first. At first I saw my fucking face smile in the mirror when I wasn't smiling. And that freaked me the fuck out. Then I started another mirror session and fucking saw my face turn into this old man face. And that fucking freaked the shit out of me. The first time I came here, that's one thing they told me was that there's an old man up in the attic. Oh, weird. And that's he weird. he doesn't like people. But, I don't know. That's regroup. Yeah. yeah. Regroup. Bad time. All right, so we're on a farm and we have been talking to devils in the basement, but now we are going to go talk to goats and cows and more goats and goats. <laughs> Goats. Goats are dope. <laughs> they think we're they're ready. I think they're hungry. <laughs> Look, what the heck? It's about to be goats gone wild over here, boys. Here comes the leader. Oh, God. 
Go Look play. at his beard. On covered in flies. <laughs> Jesus, He's dude. Lord of the flies. That would drive me nuts. Do you stink? It's like Alex of the horse world over here. In the What's up, house. dude? <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Look, chickens. Chickens. Dude, chickens are just basically like tiny dinosaurs. Yeah. It's hot. It rained earlier. We thought that was going to cool the temperature down a little bit, but it's about 90 degrees, maybe like 87.3 degrees, but it's pretty hot. There you go. Hey, there's my little man. There's my little man. <laughs> man. No! No! <laughs> you, you pig! Magellan got dirty! No! <laughs> what happened? The pig got you? Magellan I got got! <laughs> Y'all like Madhouse, the paranormal documentary? Ah. <laughs> 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 He's barking like a damn dog. He's all wet. Ah. It's spreading everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, Raymond. <laughs> this one right here. I named him Raymond. <laughs> you're, you're gonna lose your finger, dude. You're gonna lose your finger. <laughs> All right. Okay, ready and we're rolling. So, what the fuck? What is, what is that? that? It's the wild Oh horse. my god! <laughs> Look at its butt. Oh, oh, uh, oh! He says contact. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the shit on Ray Raymond's back. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Wait, where? <laughs> yeah, this little dude wants to come out and fight. Yeah, that's the that's the fun one. <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> what happened? The ghost complaining that the ghost's now dirty. Yeah. <laughs> what, ha what happened? Hang on. I'm spying on Roman right now. Who's <laughs> examining the shit stain on the back of his shirt. <laughs> Yo, Eric, what's up, man? Dude, me and the uh, crew, we're up here at Benton Farms uh, doing an investigation. Yeah, dude. We're up here at Benton Farms. I wanted to see, you want to come up here? And uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about like what happened to Tim and some of the other things you've experienced up here, like the morpher and everything. Awesome, dude. Well, we'll see you up here, man. Hell yeah. All right. The team decides to waste no time and begins interacting with the ghosts midday. So we got here this special equipment made by William Fawcett. This specific design he kind of created after the Dybbuk box and he put some special symbols inside. We don't even know what symbols. He just said some symbols inside, but it's not a Dybbuk box, it's a spirit box. So we're gonna turn it on. I also have here the IDC devices by Jay Prather, um, the ion generator. Not only that, but we have a huge storm rolling in right now too. A huge storm, which might make things interesting for what we're gonna try tonight. So, Let's uh let's crank this thing up, see what we get. Yeah. Can you say one of our names so we know that you can hear us? Richard. Richard? Do you like this box? 
We're going to be doing a ritual tonight. Do you know that? Sure thing. Sure thing. Yeah, sure thing. Any other doctors or patients want to step forward, talk to us? Yes. Where did you perform perform the surgeries? Injured, 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 injured. My leg. My leg like, feels weird. I was just my left was, leg. I was just looking at my leg because I thought something was crawling on it or touching it, but I got nothing. See, mine hurts. Your leg hurts? My left leg hurts. Are you messing with Steve right now? Steve, Steve. you hurt Steve? Okay. Whoa, there's a scratch on me. On me? Yeah. It looks like it. We'll see. Uh, we need something without a night shot. I got it right here. Okay. Right here. Is that okay. a scar or what is that? Do you have a scar on your leg? I don't think so. Let me see. I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, you have a scratch right there. Okay, hold this. Oh, oh shit. You can see, see it? it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't touch, don't touch. Who's Scratch Steve? What's your name? You can feel it. Rub it, rub it. There's a welt. Is that all you got? Remember, Steve, you told him he could use your energy and then he scratched you, so you yeah. gave him permission. It's like a dent. Yeah, that's like an invention. Like, who scratched Steve? Or who burned him? Devil! Woo. Or who burned him? Devil! Devil! Devil. Who did that? I did. Yeah. Well, then you're gonna have to show yourself. Make some, make an object move in here. There's tons of things you can move. Make something move. And that box sounds good. Is that thunder? Is that thunder? What is that? The sound of choir. Feel that one though. I call it your footsteps. How is it? It's very tight. Really tight. Very. Did you hear that? How's it feel now? Something on the home. Did you hear it? I heard that, like shuffling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard it. it sounds like furniture moving. Well, let's go fucking look. Yeah. Dude, I'm on, like, I'm on like edge right now. Yeah. Let's keep it going. Yeah, what are y'all thinking? I'm gonna do like an AVP session. So you want me to get the DR? Yeah, let's do a DR. More solos. Where are they? Back in the basement or up here? Wherever. Yeah. Oh, we do right here. Start here and see. What's your name? What did you do to me downstairs? Are you a devil? What happened? I don't think something just grabbed my car. What was that? That's that was back here. Something just, we heard it over no, here. No, no, that was over here. Something, I heard something back something here. Something just grabbed my collar, dude. I just Unless there's there a bug on my back? Or anything? Right no. Yeah, something grabbed my collar. I thought I heard something on the stairs. Yeah, I heard somebody on the stairs. I heard a sound back here. Shh. I just heard a whisper. From the same area. I heard a sound back here. Shh. I heard a sound back here. Will sound back here. Will we hear you? Here, y'all stay. Y'all stay right here. Did somebody call us to come up here to get our attention? All right, let's do. Let's do review. Let's listen to these. Man, the whole it's the whole fucking energy it's, in this place changed, dude. And it's fucking three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> She's really close. I heard you. That's. Is that wind? No, we just closed the window. The windows are closed. What did you do to me down there? Are you a devil? The, the hurt is really close. I heard you. Are you a devil? The, the hurt is really close. I heard you. 
Are you a devil? The hurt is really close. I hurt you. I almost feel a vibration in the house. I'm under Dude, I, I just reached for my phone because I thought it was vibrating. <laughs> I just felt <laughs> a vibration. Man, you hear someone talking? Upstairs. <laughs> it's like it's already popping off. It's like we. Have So we got a special guest here today. We got my good friend, Eric Connor, Epic Paranormal TV. Eric, thanks for coming out, dude, on short notice. Thanks for having me. I love this place. It's intense, it's dark, it's nasty. It's what we look for. Eric has been here a lot. We, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, basically, we wanna hear about some of your probably most profound and dark experiences in this place. So the, the darkest experience I've ever been a part of or witnessed actually happened right over there on that couch. It was right over here and it was about halfway through our event. It was one of our epic wolf pack events. You and me were both there and our dear friend was sitting on the couch and he started, he started coughing. You have the key, right? Yeah. Oh God, I'm <laughs> Oh. And then we noticed his face started turning red and then purple and then dark purple. And then he stopped opening his eyes and then he passed out. And at this moment, like my heart's racing fast. I'm like freaking out. I thought he had a stroke. I thought the man was dying. So of course I turned the camera away from him and we, we try and wake him up and dark attachments over to Please make sure that nothing ails him. No negative entities infect him. Lord, please remove any entity or energy. That's I remember I said, I was like, let's go. I'm like, I'm going to get the holy water. And I gave it to you and you put it on his forehead. And that's when he, that's when he came to and he started growling. And so at that moment, like my, at first I thought he was dying. It was a health thing. And then he started growling at us and it became an entirely different thing. Just, just like that. You got holy water? I don't know if it's medical or spiritual. Yeah, I'm not sure either. In the name but of the Lord, Jesus Christ, please use this water to cleanse any dark entities. Get out, get out now. Seriously, you're not allowed to enter, enter nobody's body. Get out. You want me to go grab the sage? Yeah. Get out. Get out. Something's been oh, yeah. Wasn't someone trying to do like an exorcism on him? Yeah, someone was saying some prayers and then uh, he started laughing. That's right, he started laughing. So we thought this man was dying and then he starts laughing at us. The yeah, super creepy. Voice. It, it was, you think it's funny? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> what? We shouldn't be doing this inside here. We need to take him outside. I think so, yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. I mean, how can, I mean, the thing yeah, is that... You get this on, I'll get this. And as we're dragging him through the house, you know, his head's still hung. He hasn't opened his eyes. He's still like kind of mumbling, growling, but he's not really fighting us at all. Not physically, no kind of physical altercation. But when we get to the step, like when we get to the doorway, as soon as I step across the door, he, he jolts back, he like jerks back and he starts fighting us to get out the door. You need to get out of the house. We're taking him outside. You can't I'm fight. telling you now. You can't fight on his own ground. Get outside and you'll feel much better. And I didn't think he was gonna fight at all because he hadn't like done nothing, he hadn't said nothing, he hadn't gave any kind of physical indication that he was gonna fight back. But then when we hit that doorway, that back doorway, he just all of a sudden jolted and started fighting and we had to like really, really drag him out of the house and we got him, set him down and then he started coming too. He finally opened his eyes like... Yeah, he was like back to normal like in a few minutes. It was like it was, a little short moment he was back like... I, like we went from a man having a stroke to what seemed like a possession to back to normal. Once we got him outside he fought like he, we were able to drag him to the door. And then when we got to the door, he started fighting. And his head was down the whole time. Like, he was like, I don't even know how he had known he was at the door. But we got him outside, and we kept praying. We kept putting holy water on him. And eventually, he started like, breathing like normal. And then he came to, like, within a matter of a couple minutes. And, it ha and like, we think it happened because he was on the property. And then we moved him off the property. And then all of a sudden, 
he's back to somewhat normal. During the interview with Eric, the team encounters strange activity. And I, I wasn't even filming at this point. I was just making sure everyone's having a good time. Don was like, where's the And I like turn around and he's just gone. And I walk off into... That was upstairs. He's gone. And I walk off into... He's gone. And I walk off into... He's gone. And I walk off into... So we are going to start night two investigations. Uh, to start out the night, we have Eric here with us. I mean, we got this place like lit up with a bunch of equipment. What do you think, what, what are you hoping for tonight? Well, I'm hoping with both these SLSs running, I'm hoping we capture something similar to the figure we captured before. Also, we are gonna turn on the portable gateway device. This is like the insides of a gateway. Okay. And so we're gonna turn this bad boy on. These settings have not been used in a location yet. Oh. So this will be a first. I, and, it and sounds if, freaky. It sounds real freaky. And if you watch the first film, Madhouse, you know that um, Alex brought his gateway. So this is the guy that originated the gateway, and now we get to use this on, a, on the first. So I'm super excited. So, all right, let's, let's do start. it. All right, let's go. Let's just hit right, it. Let's, let's just hit it. I just got nervous as hell, bro. All of a sudden, the nerves just hit me like tenfold. Holy crap. Oh, I just got hit with it too. What the hell? Dude. I wasn't feeling it on the one more stair down from you. And then when I stepped up, I was like, it like hit me in the chest. It got you too. Like an anxious rush. Dude. Hello? Let's go through the maze and then we'll hit the attic. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a big dog. All right, if you feel, Alex, you feel anything, let me know. Let me know what I'm about Right to now, walk. I'm feeling okay. I mean, I do feel kind of nervous. But not as bad as when I stepped up to the top step. Oh. Ooh, I just felt a breeze like whoa, crazy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Oh, there's a board here. Dude, a breeze literally made my shirt well, move. Well, this board's loose. I don't remember it even being like that. All right, we are currently outside of the Benton Farmhouse. We are going to explore this old gigantic tree that has a chain actually growing out of it. They believe that this chain was used as a punishment for the slaves. And we're gonna see if we can communicate with one of the slaves and see if this is true. <clears throat> were you a slave on this farm? What did they do to you out here? Is it true that they used this chain? to tie you up and punish you? If it's true that they tied you up and punished you, why? Why would they punish you? And then we should keep our eyes peeled because they said that they see like a spirit walking around here. I think they said it was a female slave. Yeah, they thought it was a slave woman. Yeah. I saw her walking up on that side of the house. Okay. She just disappeared. Okay. And it was a, a skeptic too that doesn't yeah, believe in it was stuff. Just somebody who didn't think anything was here and brought. Hey, hey guys, I just got some chills and I'm feeling super sleepy right now. All right, Sarah. sleepy? Yeah, sleepy. Like it just hit me hardcore. Right, That's I'm, weird, dude. I'm gonna bust out EVP, okay? All right, do it right here because I felt that since we entered this room. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hit record by you. All right. I'm having trouble focusing. Who's right here? Roman's feeling you strong right now. Do you want to say something to him? In your light or in your way? In your... Yeah, dude, there's I a whisper. I heard it. I heard it. Listen. It was right there. Hold on one more. Oh, right you. there, you know, because you walk so right through it. Let me go stand. Maybe if I stand, are you the... feeling any different, Roman? I still feel a little chilly over here. It, it, dude, right here, right yeah. here. All right, is this a spot? Let's I, I feel chills hardcore right here. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw a light flash right there, yeah. dude. I saw a my light flash right there. In the corner of my eye, right here. My camera might have caught it. 
I was looking at Dude, I saw a light flash like I felt, right I there. I felt like someone was standing here. And then I, like, as soon as I turned. It looked like a diamond to me, like a super bright diamond. I actually have a weird feeling about this building. For some reason, I just feel like it's... Every time I go in there by myself, I get like a weird vibe that I'm not alone. Yeah, uh, earlier tonight, I went in there by myself to use the restroom. I was on the phone with my wife, checking in, seeing how her and the kids were, and the door actually slammed in my face. And so yeah, I think maybe it's a good idea to go in there and check it out. What do you think? Yeah, let's, let's do it. This building's freaky. I've been feeling off the whole night. Yeah. Is it um, something messing with you? Oh, do you want these on? Oh, no, you can turn off. I don't know, man. I don't, I just... It's like I don't care. You know what I mean? Like you don't care to be here? Yeah, like I just don't care. Which is weird because we know you do. Right. I mean, I wouldn't. I drove 12 hours. Right. Okay, well, let's, let's run the DR16 season. What's that? Are you aware of Steve's feelings and... Do you know who's affecting him? Did you work on this property? Are you aware of these feelings and do you know who's affecting him? Did you work on this property? Do you know who's affecting him? Did you work? Did you Thank you for talking to us. We're going to go upstairs to the attic. Do you want to come with? Watch your head. Oh, yeah, I... Watch for spiders. <laughs> yeah, how are we even going to see some spiders? You know what? Don't, no one drop the mirror. That's... How many years of bad luck is that one? Uh, like 27. <laughs> oh wait, isn't it weird? Here? Seven years of bad luck, right? Isn't that what they... Oh Jesus! Dude, fuck. Isn't that what they dude, say? Dude, 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 we're all on what? edge. We're all on edge. Isn't that what they say? <laughs> Woo! Alright, who wants to go first on the mirror? I just heard an Eric, like a whisper, out of like really? out of thin air, out of noise. Alright, um, I'm setting the eye on right here. Alright. Dude, we just got we got a big old map, dude. Dude. Is it on right now? It's on right now. Where is it's it? here. Alex, it's in front of you. Whoa. Oh, dude, we got a big map. Where should I go? Which way? If you just walk straight. Walk straight. Here, I'm going to hit EVP real quick. Can you see us right now? <laughs> that was me kicking a box. Just make sure not to hit the mirror. Can you see us? If you can see us, wave. Oh, he, oh he, my he gosh! He, he picked up his arm right then. Holy crap. Can you see us? If you can see us, wave. Oh, he, oh he, he my gosh! Alright, trying Alex, to quick Alex you film him, I'll film this. Alright. Trying quick EVP. Sir, we can see you. Can you just yell hello, please? Nick, did I say Nick? Dude. Dude. Dude, did I say Nick? What happened? It said Nick. Dude, that says good. Nick. And then there's one guy that we call him uh, Naughty Nick. He likes the women that come in here and he will mess with them. Uh, so if you hear Nick, He's popular here. I don't know who Nick is. He might have been brought in from, you know, another team or something. Got that weird feeling in here. Like, it's just like, you don't feel safe. You know what I mean? Like, I hate that. Keep looking back. over your back. Right. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird, because I don't feel that in the damn farmhouse. I didn't feel it right now, no, but in That's here like it's in weird. Here, it's like, holy shit. How do you feel about how what they turned this place into? Did you live in the main house? How do you feel about how what they turned this place into? Did you live in the main How do you feel about how what they turned this place into? Place 
Right. You want to go to the other side? I do, and I don't. <laughs> I feel off walking around in here. Like, like, I feel like I need to have my back up against the wall because I, I feel like someone's just going to come and like, like, either yell at us to get the fuck out. Yeah, like we're intruding on right. somebody's personal space or something. We don't mean any disrespect. We're just here to talk, communicate, get answers. Anybody's here. JP has a device in his hand. If you walk up to it and talk, we might be able to hear you. Wouldn't it be cool to hear your voice again? We might be able to hear you. Wouldn't it be cool to hear your voice again? To hear you. Wouldn't it be cool to hear you? Wouldn't it be cool? So we've had a lot of good gateway sessions up here in the past. We've also had sessions where nothing's come through. So it depends on who's up here. It depends on the energy. But is there someone in the mirror looking back? Can you all hear us? Are you break from the mirror? I really yeah. I want you to go at it. Yeah, go ahead, man. I heard something. Whoa. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? I heard something over there. You heard something, dude. It felt like I heard. I heard something drop. Like it felt like an animal went against my <laughs> leg. Oh, I heard something. Whoa. Oh, I heard. Oh, I heard. Sh turn that off. I'm feeling it. I heard something downstairs. Just now or a second? No, like as soon as you said whoa, like right before you said whoa, I heard Doo! like downstairs, like something dropped. Dude, something happened right there. Cause I felt something, it felt like a full on animal just went across my right leg. Dude, it just did a slow nod, like a very slow. Oh no, I just saw the grin. Dude, it did the slow nod and then it did the big smile. I'm sitting like the I'm, big black smile, dude. Like just I'm black. I'm sitting behind you, and I put my hands on the table, and I'm feeling this surge coming through, and it's going to the top of my head. That's all good. So, spirits of the mirror, I'm gonna close this session, but I want you to tell me something. Tell me or show me something that's gonna happen for these boys on their final night here, or something that's gonna happen to us that you can foresee where you are. I just saw something in my third eye just come out, dude. A light just like came out of my third eye. Oh, there's, that was my glass. That was almost the candle. Let's catch this place on fire. Thank you, spirits. Thank you for talking. Internal spirits, thank you for coming through. Thank you to everyone at the farm. Thank you. Thank you. Eric leaves the farmhouse. The crew decides to perform a ritual to entice the dead of Benton Farms. All right, so what we're doing here right now is we are collecting this dirt from the land for the ritual tonight. You and your dang rituals, man. <laughs> we want to collect this dirt from the land to conjure the spirits of the land and whatever has been negatively affecting people here. And we're going to use this dirt, if that's all right with you. Smash it in there, we need plenty to make the sigil. And we're gonna leave you an offering of wine for the land. Thank you for letting us use this dirt. Alright, let's go. So we're about to do a Solomon's Triangle ritual. Um, we have here on the table the Solomon's Triangle sigil, uh, made out of the dirt from the land, which earlier uh, we returned an offering to the land, asking the spirits of the land to come through during this session. And we're about to invite more 
uh, with this ritual. So everyone focus um, and let's begin. We are lighting this candle as a beacon for the energy of the land. We're calling upon the beings of light We're calling upon the beings of darkness. We're calling upon ancient beings and beings not of our physical realm. We call upon you all for total communication between worlds. Use the energy of the building, use the energy of the land, and use our energy to manifest tonight. From the darkness, from the light, we bring the spirits here tonight. From the darkness, from the light, we bring the spirits here tonight. From the darkness, from the light, we bring the spirits here tonight. My hands feel like they're like becoming light or something. Are you here tonight? If you're here, show us a sign. Let us know. We're going to need a bigger sign than that. That's all you got? Good. Yeah, I'm just starting to feel... Yeah, so you're asking me. A sort of... Uh, I'm like kind of talking to it in my head, uh, telling it that it can channel through me, but it's not allowed to attach to me. Give us another sign of your presence. Mm -hmm. Come closer to us. It's like I'm getting pulled back in my chair. It's weird as fuck. It's like something's like pulling me backwards. Show yourself. Are you hearing what movement? Yeah, me too. We hear you creeping around. Come closer. Talk to us. It's like going like from my right side around my back. Yeah. Is that a breath? That sounded like a. Yeah. 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 That wasn't one of these guys. No. That was like a slow, like, like yeah. yeah. That wasn't money. No, that was yeah, like shit, mm -hmm. We're offering you our energy, the energy from the land, any energy you need to make it known that you're here. There's a piano behind me. Can you push one of the keys? I bet you can't. I don't think you could do anything. No. What more do you need? We're offering everything for you. Give us a sign. Walk around somewhere upstairs, maybe, so we can hear your footsteps. Oh, dude, that's upstairs. That was upstairs. That was. Come downstairs. That gave me chills, dude. Dude, that's upstairs. That was upstairs. That was. Quit hiding in the back. Make yourself known here now.
Hey, Roman. Kill these lights. Steve seems okay. fine to me right now. I heard something over here. You sure it's all out there? I told you. I got the chill. I heard, I heard like someone, like a, like a whisper. I just felt a uh, extremely cold breeze. And I just I got, got chills. chills all over. It's coming. Well, it's coming like a surge. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Just don't break the circle. But don't let it in. I don't feel let it in. like the same. Like when when I knew it was in Madison, I, oh, okay. was I just got really cold. I, I was. I got chills. I'm bad. hardcore chilling right now. And I I'm got, feeling uh, it coming on. Right, look at my arms. Yeah, my, my arms are freezing cold. Right, I probably have goosebumps right now. I don't know if you can. I uh, can't see it. We're gonna give you one more shot, okay? You make a very, very apparent attempt of communication. And if you do not, the circle will break and the energy that we are trying to give you will no longer be available. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who do you want? Are you mad about the renovations at this house? Seven? Seven. What is this? Oh, I hear it now. Oh, I hear it now. Oh, I hear it now. What about? Do it. Wow. Who's that like home? The Solomon Triangle was broken. We release the energy, or you. Now with the energy fully charged, the crew begins their final experiment. So we're gonna try the tone experiment again, this time with the whole group. See how it goes. Dude, up. what the f- what? Dude, what? What happened? Dude, I literally—I wiped my eyes so hard after I saw it, I knocked my contact out. I'm not even kidding. My oh, hands are shaking so bad right now. Dude, what'd you see, man? A, a person. Girl, boy, man, woman. Yeah, it was definitely—it was definitely a guy. I didn't see a hat. Older guy? It was—I mean, it was an adult for sure. Like it was standing like this, like literally, like staring. And I saw it, and I when I first looked at it. You know, I was like, oh, it's my eyes or whatever playing a trick on me. But it's like, as soon as I looked at it, it saw, so it turned and grabbed this and just went. Before we were rudely interrupted. We explained a little bit about what we're gonna do, the group tone experiment. Steve saw the man on the stairs, or we assume it's a man, just some per person on the stairs. So we're gonna do the tone experiment, see what happens. I have an idea too. So I have this empty bottle. I'm gonna go set it over there on top of the stairs and maybe if there's something like, you know, it's with some type of force. It over yeah. I have a rim pot up there too, so yeah, that's uh, over there. Yeah, I got it. So we got a red pot on the landing. Nobody up there. All right. Let's, uh, All right. So let's we got them. the staircase set up with a rem pod water bottle right where Steve's friend was standing. We're going to start at the lowest possible frequencies that yeah, we will not be able one, to yeah. hear with our own ears. All right. But we think that's what might have sparked that activity earlier. Maybe 
with him having it on that lowest setting. Well, it makes sense what y'all said. Like, he yeah. played the sound and then something came down. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, he might have came down. Like, what is that sound, dude? Here we go. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. It's on. What uh, hurts you, Alma? Does it say? Uh, 95. Hey, is that something blocking the light? Yeah. Whoa, what the? F but I saw what looked like a figure up there. Block out what, that light. Yeah, you see it? That's what I saw. That's what you saw too? Yeah. Yeah, I just saw that. The window block, the window yeah. up there? They yeah. blocked it up. Come down. down. shoulders. Come down and set that rim pod off. Did you, who breathed out? Did you breathe out, King? I don't, I don't know. It was... Yeah, I heard that. It wasn't me. Holy shit, dude. It's working. Did you see just breathe out? Holy shit, dude. It's working. Did you see... Holy shit, dude. It's working. Did you see... It came from, like, the area over there behind I said it's working. I saw... Oh, God. It's the only time the REM pod went off this entire weekend, mm -hmm. uh, just for documentation purposes. Oh, REM pod, REM pod, REM pod dude, REM pod dude, it's staying up there, dude. That's right. Kick the water bottle. Knock the water bottle off the stairs. Kick the water bottle. Knock the water. Kick the water bottle. Knock the water. Kick the water bottle. Knock the water. Well, we got a static on it too, right? No. It's going off. Kick the water bottle. Use all your energy and kick it as strong, as hard as you can down them stairs. Oh, REM pod. That's awesome. Come on. It's coming down whenever it's not on. Yeah. It's like it's. Dude, REM pod, REM pod. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Yeah. Do you like the tones? If you like the tones, dude. set it off again. Dude. I'm gonna film, film behind me real quick for a second. Do you see anything? Because I feel like a, like somebody's watching me behind me is freaking me out. No. Okay. Set it. Right. Dude. 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 Footstep. 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 That was loud. That was a hardcore footstep. I felt it. It like vibrated the ground. It's like they're bringing more, more people over there. Come on down. It's funny because you just saw something. Dude, dude I saw it Dude, it's going off like nothing. I, I heard a click. I saw it like a white mist go from left to right. Oh, man. Look at that. Come on, hit it. Chills, dude. Chills hey, all over. Dude, we hit the water bottle. Action, like, hit the water, the water bottle. Man. Hit the water bottle down the stairs. I just heard a, like a, like a scream or something. I don't know what that was. Like a... Tumble. I didn't hear it. We're from upstairs. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. Unbelievable. That's awesome. One more time. He's like pacing up and down the stairs. Like he's more probably making it upset with the sounds, maybe. I don't know. He's doesn't it detect like a field around the antenna? And if anything breaks that field, yeah, it admits it's only in that field. Uh, around it, the it's, antenna. It's a small, like, for the, mo very close, the yeah, motion, very close it's a proximity it. sensor, yeah. pretty much. And, and if you, if you right. come close to the antenna, it's going to go off from motion, or, you know, not motion, but touch sensor. Break, yeah, breaking that, that's only in that field. Alright. Is that you? Look. That sound. I didn't hear it. No, it wasn't Steve. Did you hear it? No, but Steve didn't make any sound. No, I didn't, I didn't even move. If you can hear me clearly, can you set it off one more time, please? Thank you, thank you. Dude. Now we can ask you yes or no questions. Did you live in this house? 
Or do you live in this house? If yes, make it go up again. Dude. Oh my god. Are you capable of kicking the water bottle? Can you? Yes. Okay, that chill so bad. Dude, it's yeah, going yeah. nuts. Yeah. All right, we're gonna ask you uh, if you're a boy is or a girl. Tiny? No, I'm not. And just tiny. light it up for whichever answer it is. Okay. Right. Are you a boy? Are you a girl? Are you neither? Are you a shapeshifter? If you're a shapeshifter, light the rim pod and hold it. Maybe I need it's holding it. It's now. holding it, Alex. Oh my Alex, God. it held it. Oh it's going, God. dude. We get it. You were standing there and I looked over and saw you. Make that go off, please. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Wow. We have his attention. Okay. Can you show yourself again? Try somebody else this time. Who's moving? Doesn't we know you're standing there because you're lighting the device up. Just show yourself again. We won't react the same way. You just startled us the first time. We didn't expect it. Now we'll expect it because we're talking to you. Yeah, I'm sorry if I scared you by running, running towards you. You caught me off guard. We mean no disrespect. We just really want to interact with you. Yeah, we're here for answers to the unknown. The team received no further communication. So you don't want to play with us anymore? You don't want to light that device up? Try to kick the water bottle? That was a fun game we were playing. All right, let's wrap it up then, boys. Dang. That was impressive fucking that was session. That was, that, was, that lasted a long time. Yeah, you can't get mad at that. Hello? Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, dude? Not much, dude. I just wanted to ask what your thoughts were on Benton Farms. Dude, that place really lived up to the hype that you that you talked about it. Man, it was it was really crazy. We caught some cool stuff there. Dude, definitely. Uh, what did you think about the solo sessions? Uh, I think it was pretty ballsy starting right off the bat with solos. Mm. And um, the game that you made where it kind of made us go through the whole house was really interesting because it's really easy when you're alone to kind of just stay in one spot scared. And that made you move. So that was a, uh, it was pretty scary. That was the idea to kind of, you know, get us to push ourselves a little bit. Yeah. And then also leading on to the ritual, which I thought was super successful. All those footsteps and things we were hearing during the ritual, like it was, it was crazy, man. Dude, that's upstairs. That was upstairs. That was. Yeah, man, as soon as we started it and like the chanting began and then once the candles were blown out, like it felt like like a heaviness just went over the room. The feeling changed and then all the sounds were happening and man, you can feel it. I, I wish that there was a way to have the viewers feel what we felt, but it was definitely insane. Yeah, and it's weird when I was watching uh when I was watching over the footage, like it was almost like I was remembering like a dream or something. Like it was like I, I like wasn't really present or something. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but yeah, I um, think the ritual will put us in like some weird trance zone type state. That's the uh, that's the goal. And then I think leading on into the tone experiment with the REM pod, like I think it really set this, it like set everything up perfectly for whatever that was coming through to be able to come through that strong. Yeah, and then Steve saw that apparition on the stairs, and then the, we put the REM pod there, and it was reacting to our questions there. And I think we talked about how we've never seen a REM pod really go off like that, especially on command. I know, that was like the most I've ever seen a REM pod 
do like it was insane and mm-hmm. and i think we we like tried to debunk it as best we could and there really was nothing like i couldn't figure out why it was going off so much and, and reacting to our questions and everything what? are you a shapeshifter if you're a shapeshifter light the rim pod and hold it It's holding it, Alex. Oh my Alex, God. it held it. Yeah, that was a, that was really cool. That was a cool moment to be a part of. Ooh, and then uh, when Steve got scratched. Yeah, man, that, this place was known for its physical, you know, interactions. Most of them negative. Uh, Steve got scratched. There was a story that a guy like gave him extreme anxiety. Um, it messed with Debbie's pacemaker in her heart. Myself, I have had my pacemaker and defib mess with. Here. This place was super intense when it came to uh, physical activity, but yeah. are you ready? What? I got what? a surprise for you. For me? Yeah, what I haven't told anybody else. None, none of the other guys know yet, but I've been talking to a location that's known for 10 times the amount of physical activity that Benton Farm has. All right. And, All right. I, yeah. I'm down. And uh, I got us in, and that's where we're shooting the next one. So get ready, because it's going to be intense. Oh, man. You think the boys are going to be all right? We'll see. Hey, we need help with the pig, Alex. I'm not touching that pig. They got out and did it again? Yeah. That door just opened on. Is that one of you guys fucking around or is that the real goat? <laughs> Jesus, dude, that sounds like a fucking horror movie. Like, shouldn't they be in there face deep in that barrel the last time they've been eating forever? Okay. All right, bro. Stop it, you got I told you that goat was in there, 